everyone, I'm Jay, this is Betsy, and this is the Camden Stick. I will move you in a bit closer now you've seen Betsy. She has taken to sleeping on the back of the chair all day. She's not very well at the moment, so she's kind of spending a lot of quiet time on her own. Um, so keep your fingers crossed that she's going to be all right. We're going to take her to the Betsy Betsy next week. Anyway, I thought I'd just pop by and say hi because it's been nearly a month since I spoke to you last. Mm. If you follow me on Instagram, you'll know I've not been very well. My mental health took a real downturn just really after I released my last vlog. I mean, nothing to do with that. Um, but I've been having a horrible time. Um, just this is the first time I've put makeup on since since my last vlog, I think. I've not been able to look in the mirror. Um, feeling like everybody hates me, having to stay away from social media. Um, no matter how kind of irrational you know that those thoughts are and no matter how much you sort of put them in their place, um, there are times in your life that you have to kind of do what's best for yourself and say, well, actually, this is not a healthy place for me to be at the moment. But obviously, then you kind of, you're quite isolated. I don't go out very much. I've been out once since I spoke to you last to get my nails done, thank God, because they were in a real state. But yeah, I'm too 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 anxious to leave the house, really. It's a massive barrier for me. So it's just been me, Ian, Betsy, and a lot of sewing. I have sewn loads since I saw you last. I think I've made at least 15 garments. I, I'm not gonna show you all of them today, because um, there are a few that I want to do as pattern reviews, uh, but the main exciting thing is I have filmed quite a lot of footage that I'm going to edit together and show you how I cut some patterns and draft some patterns. One of the series that I've done is I have hacked the Freya dress and I've made at the last count I think 11 different versions of the Freya um, by Tilly and the Buttons. So I'm going to be putting those together as a little series and I can show you how I make all <clears throat> excuse me I can show you how I make all the changes um, from the flat pattern there's also a dress that I adapted from the flat pattern it's just a I think it's a McCall's or a simplicity pattern um, I adapted it to fit my own bodice block so that um, then when I sewed it up it fitted me perfectly straight out the packet and I'm going to be showing you how I did that as well um, there are a few ups and downs during this process because um, cutting your own patterns is very much trial and error. So I'm going to be showing you the ones that didn't work out as well as well. And um, behind me here is a dress that I drafted myself using the picture on a vintage pattern envelope which was the wrong size. So rather than cut that out and try and change an existing pattern I decided to take the style lines and draft it myself and so this um, dress is the product of that and I have filmed footage of me doing that and you'll be able to see um, all the kind of changes that I have to make along the way to make sure that it fits right, things that I decide to edit out, things that I decide to change about my ideas and what I finish up with. So all that's footage that I have to put together at some point um, but for today, I just wanted to come and say hi. You can see that I'm wearing my <laughs> Wilder gown. Hello! I will post some pictures here of the dress now I've finished it. I couldn't count all your comments in the end because there were so many, but they were pretty split between I hate that pattern, chuck it away, um, to make it shorter, to revamp it in the same length. So I decided, I think one lady said this and this kind of um, summed up my own thoughts was try and revamp it so that it fits me as the dress was originally intended to do so that I can decide if that style of dress fit, fit, suits me or if not just cross it off my list. And so that's what I decided to do. Um, the changes that I made, I took away the white tie, everybody hated that, fair enough, um, and added a black velvet ribbon, I added little sleeves um, little ruffles on the sleeves with a smaller black velvet ribbon which I think sort of ties them together quite nicely and I've left it at midi length you'll be able to see that in the pictures it looks great with a jacket over it I think maybe without a jacket it's a little bit um, night dressy we're coming into the sort of weather that you've got to wear a jumper and stuff underneath it and it's good for that because you know it's so roomy 
I am not, I don't love this. I think it's very nice and it's very wearable and I think it's quite stylish, but I don't think the combination of fabric and pattern is spot on. I don't think it really suits my style. I think if I'd made this in either black or white, something like um, a, a voile or a broderie anglais, something a little bit floaty, um, I think that it would suit me a lot more and I'd really like it. I think I'll probably give it another go in the summer. I'm not 100% sure about raglan styles on me anyway because of me being quite small around the shoulders. Uh, what I really love about this pattern just come in a bit so you can see the top of the dress what I really love about it is how all the pattern pieces are cut including the collar so rather than having a separate sort of gathered collar stitched on you are bringing the whole thing together I really like that and that's something that I couldn't draft myself I would find it really hard to draft myself so I don't know if there's there are legs in this pattern um, but I'm not going to write it off just yet I do welcome your comments but please remember it, there's no point just telling me that you hate the pattern because I obviously don't hate it do I obviously I decided to make it which means that I must like it so if you just tell me hate it it just feels like you're criticizing me um, sometimes <laughs> when I invite people's comments on an issue um, I think sometimes that people just think that that gives them license to say anything um, and some of the things that people said to me on my last vlog um, not about the birder that was fine but some of the things that people said to me on the wilder gown vlog you just I know that those people would not say those to somebody's face and so it's just about stepping back and thinking hang on a minute you can't just go up to somebody and say that looks shit <laughs> because it's not very nice all as vloggers are putting ourselves out there and that is quite a scary thing to do and um, I know that I've had other friends who vlog who have really been knocked off um, for several weeks because of people making negative comments and you can't not do it just because of one or two idiots but at the same time it is a little bit um, it doesn't give you the most balanced or happiest view of humanity shall we say right um, I am going to film a review of this. I think it's brilliant. Uh, it's November Birder. I'm also going to film a review of my gorgeous red um, squeaky squeaky plastic um, moto jacket. And so both of those vlogs should hopefully be up soon so long as I sort of stay well enough to edit them. If I don't then hey it doesn't matter does it? It's only a vlog. Um, anyway Look at this lovely floof. She's such a comfort to me. I honestly wish I had more sewing news to tell you, but I really don't think I have done anything because I've not been on social media very much. I haven't really done anything of interest to tell you about. And I've literally just gone from the sofa to my sewing table and some days it's just felt like I'm dragging myself through the motions but I have dragged myself through the motions and I've got some lovely garments out of it. I really have made some really really ni nice things that I can't wait to show you. All right so it's a bit of a tease really isn't it because I'm not showing you anything now I'll leave you in suspense or in suspenders as we used to say. Right I hope you're very well Um, I shall see you soon. Lots of love from Camden. Bye. Betsy says bye.